guys, I'm here with Kevin Simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him. Sorry, sorry. I was going to do the Sasquatch walk now. <laughs> Can I crack you, please? No. Everyone will want me to crack you. I don't want you to crack me, and that's not everyone. A soft one? No. Just like an easy one. I don't like soft. <laughs> <laughs> like I hard. I know, we lived together for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's very, that's very true. I'm still scared to go in that bedroom. <laughs> you really should be. Wait till we go back there. Oh, look, a creep. <laughs> <laughs> Your knees are still good there. <laughs> Look at that. SI joints moving like gravy. So, <laughs> I'm gonna bump stroke there a little bit. Reduce some of that psoas tension that you're feeling. Um, knees don't feel too bad. Take that little bit of a knot there. Yeah. All right. I'm waiting for you to jump on him and ride him like a pony. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> we got in trouble the last time. <laughs> it's amazing. Hi, Big Z. I feel good. Are you happy? Do you like rainbow? Yeah, I like rainbow. See rainbows. Black like sturdy. <laughs> Very sturdy. I heard you like sturdy men. Sturdy men? Uh, <laughs> go, go for the ladies. Hello. Hi, Hi Luke. Uh -huh. I just noticed that you got the Limerick line in your. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah. That's you. Looking at the line. Oh, class. Did you sell a path? You didn't even tell me you got my tattoo. Uh, I just, you mean so much for me, you're an inspiration. Thank you. You always have been since the days of your mass wrestled. Are you and Tom? I was looking at old photos. Oh, yeah. You mass wrestled Tom in yeah. the UK's. Um, you had no beard. Tom beat me. My mass wrestled you beard. Yeah, do you remember? There's a picture of us and we're throw both thrown on the side and their big fucking shoes were hanging out over the board. <laughs> <laughs> and the board was only good for like side. Don't touch my huge penis. Breathe a willy. What? Breathe a willy. Hi, Dad. I'm glad you put your pants on today and hide that shit tattoo. <laughs> yeah, job, And that's enough of you. <laughs> Tom, are you watching on Netflix right now? Um, nothing. What's the last thing you watched on Netflix? Uh, Finding Nemo. What? Finding Nemo. It's a poem. What's it about? Fish. It's about fish. Yeah. What happened to you? I don't know. Sinead, what's the last thing Tom watched? <laughs> what's the last thing Tom watched on Netflix? Pillow-esque. I'll check. Pillow like oh. <laughs> oh, Please don't yeah, be filming yeah. my swollen chin. No, you look good from this angle of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched... Where's my... No, 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 um, is it cake? Oh, I think I watched that actually. It was good. Yeah. I use it to make me hungry. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Well, I use it to take away the hunger, and he would just watch it too. No, it looks makes me hungry, it makes me salivate. Yeah, it, it took, when I was fasting, it was really good. It made me not hungry. Eleven fifty nine, and then one born at twelve oh one. They're different ages. No.
I would. Just fuck, fuck, so he's fuck right. Uh -huh. No, he's not. Because the birthday would be whoop on whoever flipped in, and the birthday would be whoop on whoever flipped in. Yeah. Time is man-made. <laughs> time is so, but an illusion. Ex time is man-made, so they are born in the same moment. That's right. And the mom dropped the ball on being lazy, pushing the second one through. They could have both had the same birthday. Yes. Huh. It's science, really. Science, bitch. Your sisters, <laughs> your sisters were born on different days. I just ate them. So, so you look pregnant. You look pregnant. They're like, okay, we need Tom's ticket. Why is he need a fucking ticket? Oh, he put those in the t-shirt. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. It wasn't right. No, it's just ridiculous though how they're acting like that. Except for the rest of the year, nice. Exactly. That's what they're putting in the tent. Yeah, in grades. Yes. I thought you were going to kiss there. Wait, 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 go back. Let's go, Pa! Easy, Pa! So Luke, you made your first World Strongest Men final, how'd you feel? Pregnant. <laughs> thank you, bro. Congratulations. Sure, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse good me. Man. We're in the middle of an interview here. I'm not Excuse broken, me. so I'm good. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the middle of an interview. Delete it, delete it, mate. <laughs> yeah, I feel very good. Um, Yeah, just feel good, man. And I felt it at the time. Good boss! 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 The two days, uh, day one really <clears throat> uh, didn't go well for me at all. Um, the loading was so much harder than I thought. It was probably the hardest event I have done in Strongman ever. It was so tough. The implements were hard and running on the sand was so hard as well. Everyone said the same. Uh, it wasn't just me that nearly died <laughs> finishing it. Um, so tough. I was not prepared for that event at all. Uh, I probably should have gone to the beach and done some running on the beach, but I didn't. Um, I was kind of more focused on getting ready for Europe's as opposed to Worlds. So maybe if I had more time, um, that would have gone well for me. And the same thing with the deadlift. I was prepping for a deadlift on a deadlift bar. 350 for reps for Europe's. Um, and I made a bollocks of the deadlift here. I'm capable of a lot more. Um, I got five reps on the deadlift, <clears throat> um, which is bad for me. I should be getting six and possibly the seventh rep in that deadlift. Uh, it was, it, to, to me, it wasn't really a deadlift. It's more like a leg press and hindsight, I should have gone wider with my feet and I should have also done some practice on a car deadlift setup. But I didn't, because as I said, I was prepping for Europe's. Um, so, and I thought that would have stood to me, but it didn't at all. It was a completely different pull. So I didn't do really well there. Um, log, I got three logs, which is what I was getting in training. I was hot and cold with getting the 170 in training. I got a couple of times and missed it a few times in training. So I suppose getting it at the end of a day, and the days are so long here, um, like even when you're not competing, they're so long. Like waiting in between events, um, it's hard to nap in between events. A uh, few guys were able to nap in, I can't, because I can't sit still for very long. Um, 
but just to give you an idea of how long the day is we are up at five o'clock in the morning and we get a breakfast and then we have the first event at eight o'clock which was the loading the second event was around half 11 which was the deadlift and the log kicked off around four o'clock in the evening i think so it's just a really long day and trying to stay um alive for that long it wasn't easy um but then day two went a bit better for me um i got over i did well in the the conans um i came second pavlo pipped me just by a few paces um but like if i was in in any other group with my conans i would have won the event um which but sure that's that that's life i got the tough event i think number of group one was the toughest event um but yeah then we had that was it for me then i was knocked out oh no kettlebell toss um it's throwing events is normally a good event for me it went well i got six kind of fast i missed the fourth one which cost me a couple of seconds um but even at that janasha was ahead of me he got six and 19 seconds i don't think i would have beat him with my time um just height is a big advantage to throwing events um and then that was me out uh fifth place overall um but yeah i'm not happy with it but anyway it was a learning curve even for me as long as i'm doing strongman being out here has been a learning curve so when or if i'm back again i will be more prepared for it um so for now all i'm gonna do is get some more behind the scenes stuff and i'm gonna enjoy the final um even now talking to a couple of people talking to big z and mark felix this morning about who they think could podium it's impossible years ago world's strongest man there was there was two or three guys that could win it there was probably three or four guys five guys that could podium um and then you'd have the outside group that would always be at the bottom top 10 of world's strongest men um but this year any one of the 10 guys can podium and there's probably six guys that can win it this weekend it's so hard to call it literally depends who's recovered fully after the heats um who is most experienced who is the strongest who's going to have the good day who's going to have the bad day so as i said there's about six guys that can win it and all the ten guys can podium and anything can happen it's strong men at the end of the day i would like to thank you all for watching my video thanks to all my new subscribers and see you later